We're going to change the way that the tissue processes and the wax embedding stations are organised. So rather than having a separate booking sheet for each of the three trays in the, um, the tissue processor, now we have a single tissue processor where the individual red, green and blue um, baskets can all be booked at the same time. So if we go in and have a look at how that's organised, I'll go to next week, you can see that now we have um, the three baskets colour coded, so we have a red basket, a green basket and a blue basket. Completely ignore the times that are down the side. The way it's going to work now is at three o'clock a member of staff will actually load the tissue processor. We're going to run it as a service now so that the users don't actually have to learn how to use the um, tissue processor programs or anything. So in a similar way to before, the person who books the first basket will choose which run will run overnight. So I want to run my sample on the Friday and you can see that Darren has already chosen um, to run a program on the, the, um, the Friday. It was the default program which means it's just the routine overnight P1 that runs and then I could book the, the green basket to go in there at the same time. It'll also give me a prompt to remind me to um, also book an embedding station for tomorrow because once your samples come out of the tissue processor we'll then put them into a corresponding embedding station so if I book the green basket my samples will then end up in the red, the green embedding station tomorrow so I need to book a, um, a slot on that as well so that's me now booked there I can now go to the green embedding station to the tissue processor on the Friday afternoon so my samples will be ready on the Monday, so I need to go to the Monday booking. Um, <clears throat> I've only got two, two samples, so I'm just going to book an hour um, in the morning. That's me booked into the wax embedding station. If I went to um, wanted to book on the red basket, so I would get to choose the program that runs, and I didn't want to run the default program, I could also um, using the, the the little selection down here, choose which program I wanted to run. So I might want to run the um, overnight large tissue. Oops. P2. And book that selected one. And again now as a reminder to, to book the red um, embedding station. Now you can see here it's got the purple band to say it's a different program to the standard default routine overnight one and then I can go and book for Wednesday um, into the tissue um, processor on the Wednesday which means my samples will be ready on the Thursday morning so this time I might have quite a few samples so I'm going to book from 10 till, till 1 So the processor ran on the Wednesday, my samples are ready for embedding on the Thursday. All of the waxwork is now based in the old goods in room, which is G011 in AV Hill. Um, and this requires a swipe card access to it. So if your card doesn't work, if you go and speak to the reception staff at the um, front of AV Hill, they'll add you to the, to the system. So you can see everything now to do with wax is based in here. We've got all the RAL wax, We've got the tissue processing machines, um, the embedding stations, and over here is the prep area where you're actually gonna um, set up all the cassettes to go in the machine overnight. So you can get some of the cassettes from the, the troughs. We have a computer where you can check which baskets that you've been booked into. There's a prep area to set up your baskets and in the fridge, you can see that all of the baskets are inside Tupperware boxes which are colour coded. So I'm booked into the green basket overnight, so I'm going to take my green Tupperware box and we can start to put my, my samples in there. So in the basket. Get it open. There we go. 
we can put our little sample in the cassettes. What you need to make sure is you've got a really good, well-labeled cassette as they're going in. So one of the things that we, we recommend is to use these KP markers that you can buy from Stopford stores. They're really good. They're xylene and alcohol resistant, so your writing's not gonna run, rub off overnight. So you can put your cassettes in. If you have a lot of cassettes, you can actually use these um, dividers to form little rows so that you can actually pile up um, your cassettes in a, in a row along the, um, the little trough, okay? When you've finished loading your sample, and you can see the baskets themselves also have a color coding on them. So I booked into the green basket overnight, which is in the green Tupperware box, which has the green labeling on it. Reassemble my unit and clip the box back together. I then need to write on the front of the, the Tupperware box how many samples I've actually got in. So I'm running two samples overnight. This then goes back into the fridge and that's it done. You no longer just leave your samples for us to load, you actually have to load the samples into the basket and once they go in the fridge, that's your process done. We'll then load the machine after three o'clock in the afternoon and then in the morning, you'll come and you'll find that your samples are waiting for you in the um, embedding stations in the colour-coded boxes. So I booked the green um, basket overnight, so my samples will end up in the green wax pot on the embedding station. If I'd booked the blue or the red, they'd be over here in the corresponding trays for that. So to just recap, now you need to have your samples in the fridge, in the 70% ethanol, in their baskets, ready to go into the machine. Um, that's all you need to do. Once they're in the, the, the fridge, we do the rest. We do the loading of the processor and we'll put them into the wax pots ready for you next morning. So you just need to make sure that you put your samples into the basket that you correspondingly booked.